At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no, there was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you.
I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though? I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. 